Well, rising sea levels are taking a dramatic toll on low-lying islands and cities around the world, and many are already trying to guard against an uncertain future. CCTV's Paulo Cabral visited one such community in Brazil's port city of Santos. Despite its seaside location, Santos is not an idyllic tropical resort town. It's a big industrial city, home to the largest port on South America's Atlantic coast, with some nice beaches on the site. However, over the last decade, long stretches of sand have disappeared. People who live here say they are already facing the consequences of climate change. A few years ago, these stones were not here. There was just a ramp to reach the sand that people used to bring their canoes and kayaks down to the sea. Now you see we don't have sand here anymore, but only these stones put down by the authorities to protect the shore. A recent study by an international poll of universities in conjunction with Brazilian government researchers foresees that sea levels around Santos will rise between 18 and 23 centimeters by 2050 and by as much as 45 centimeters by 2100. The researchers see no risk of any part of the city being permanently lost to the sea, but say large areas could be subject to frequent flooding. The city of Santos has acknowledged the problem and set up a group to work on a mitigation plan to be presented over the next year. For a few years now, we have already been preparing for the rise in the sea level, as it is inevitable. We have been putting stones on the shore and bringing back sand that is carried away from the sea. But now we are working on a larger scale plan to offer more permanent solutions. Beyond the beaches, officials are focusing on an upgrade of the area's drainage system, made up of a large network of canals across Santos. The most affluent parts of the city next to the ocean risk losing their beaches as the level of the sea rises. But in the poorest parts of town, there is even more at stake. Many people here live in precarious stilt houses built right above the mangroves. Jeanne Maria is a slum dweller, fisherwoman and social worker who's been living and working here for almost four decades. She says the tide has clearly been getting higher in recent years, often going over the flimsy wooden bridges that connect the houses. Many times in high tide, the water covers everything here and brings a lot of mud and garbage to our house. We will not be able to live here anymore. The sea level is getting really high and we want to understand exactly what is happening, but no one tells us properly. Environmental problems are inevitably human problems, impacting man's well-being and survival. It's a reality that's becoming clearer, particularly in poor and fragile areas like this one. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Santos.